Let's take a look at building a Cult K8 in a CG1500 box. What we have here is our CG1500, pigtails, power cord. I've already mounted the power supply, Cult K8, and a smart receiver. Um, I had to modify the mounting plate to fit how I needed, but in the use case I'm going to use this, I needed to have a ninth port, so I'm using the smart receiver to accomplish that. And then I have the wiring from the power supply to the controllers already with terminals on the end ready to go together. The other thing I did was modify the CG1500 um, to use glands instead of going through the foam at the bottom. And you'll see later with the way the spacing is, this will make it easier for my wires to get in. So let's move some things out of the way and we can start putting some of the wiring together. Okay, with our power wires connected, let's go ahead and we can start to put the pigtails and power cord through our glands. You'll see I took the lid off just to make it easier in terms of working on it. Now that the wires are through, we can go ahead and put the fork terminals on our AC power wires. Then we can go ahead and put our pigtails into the Phoenix connectors. I know there's a lot of different thoughts and debates on whether to use ferrules, whether to cut off the tinned ends, or whether to use the tinned ends. Um, in my case, I've, I've used the tinned ends and have never had an issue with them, so that's what I'll continue to do. Just a quick check to make sure that everything's in the right order. In the case of the cult boards, at least, it's ground, data, and then voltage. So next we can go ahead and bring our mounting board back. Before I drop that in, I want to go ahead and connect my AC power. Then we can go ahead and drop the board in. Said it's a uh, like I said, it's a pretty tight fit. And then we can go ahead and screw down the board. And with the board in, we can go ahead and tighten our cable glands. And then we can plug in all our connectors. And then we can tighten down all the pigtail glands as well. Then we can go ahead and connect our culp to the smart receiver. One last check before we plug in the board. There's the input jumper on the cult. Make sure it's set to match your power supply. If you have a 12 volt power supply and this is set to five volt, it will damage your board. So let's plug it in and make sure everything turns on. And there we have it. All the fuses are lit up. The cult board booted. We have an IP address.